Now with this uh, tutorial, what I want to do is to start looking at um, uh, just improving your portraits. This isn't high-end portraits you like to see on magazines. We really want to sort of improve a portrait, uh, anything that you might have shot, family, friends, that kind of thing. Uh, one of the first things to do is to assess your image and really figure out what you want to fix on it. Um, there's no point blundering in and trying to fix things if they don't need fixing. So those eyes there are a bit dark in the uh, corners of the eyes, those are probably need fixing. Hair's a bit uh, dark and doesn't lack any, and lacks any life I should say. There's a big hole in the fringe here uh, which needs repairing I think. Uh, there's some deep, deep crevices and dark shadows which could do with brightening up. And if you look in the teeth, there's a bit of yellowing back there, takes the yellow out. Again some darkening uh, around the eyes there. Uh, little pimples and blemishes that could do with tightening up and uh, cleaning out and uh, the hair itself here this bit I'm going to concentrate on first uh, just to fill in uh, this fringe and I'm going to choose a lasso tool which you can see over here I'm going to make a very very simple selection uh, you can be doing this and just dragging it over there and what I'm going to do is to uh, use this to fill in the uh, fringe there and I'm going to choose the move tool, which is V, which is a shortcut. Let's let's uh, make that selection a new layer by going Control J, and uh, choose the V, or you can go to your toolbar and choose the move tool. And let's move that mouse down and move that around there. And you can see it <laughs> it looks classy. Um, it doesn't look really great. We're going to use a blend mode, and I'm going to click onto dark and blend mode to use straight away. That's uh, filling in nicely that uh, bit of hair there. Let's click on and click off again. But there's a bit of uh, nonsense happening over here. One of the things you can do, of course, is to put a mask on it and paint it away. You can, now you can erase it, entirely up to you if you can use the eraser tool. I prefer just to use a, a soft brush, 30%. Uh, I'm painting with black onto a white mount. You can see there, I'm just nicely taking away and blending in that bit of the fringe that needs filling in. So in a very simple move, we use the lasso tool to create a selection, drag it across, change the blend mode, you see there before and after put a soft mask on and just paint it through and just tie it in so we we filled a hole in in the fringe and it's as simple as that dark and blend mode um, a very simple little technique in which to improve your portraits uh, there's other things that we can do we can actually fill in that um, uh, bit here by the side of it I'm going to choose the background again and choose another great wadge of hair and just loosely go around with a lasso tool choose V uh, which will uh, bring in your move tool, control J which will uh, get a new layer or command J if you're on a Mac of course I want to call this one hair too uh, and still working on this hit the V key again or choose your tool in the toolbar and I'm going to move that across there again that's looking really good uh, we're going to just rotate it so it's control T or command T and then click inside the bounding box and choose rotate and I'm just going to rotate it around there move it around again so once you've made a selection, you can uh, rotate. Uh, we'll look at warping in a minute as well. Again, I'm going to just darken that one down. And just move it around to an area which looks not too bad. <laughs> it doesn't look too great at the moment. We're going to mask things out. So let's click on the mask icon again. Add a mask to it. And I'm going to choose the paintbrush again. I'm painting a 30%. And just really, you can see there, you can fill in the gap nice and easily. You can go too far with the paintbrush and take it all away, like I've done there, or you can actually come back in again. Let's have a look before and after. Not a lot of action happening there, so I really need to uh, change the paintbrush. Hit X on your keyboard, that'll toggle to white, and we can paint white back onto your mask. That'll bring things back up again. Okay, that's a simple way of doing it with uh, uh, using a selection tool. Let's have a look before and after. So we've filled in the fringe, okay, it could be tied up a bit more, let's just do that. And you can see it uh, blends in quite nicely. Um, and take a bit more out there. Let's go in and do some fine work. Let's just hit the X key again. Just put that in there. So you can toggle between your black and your white just by hitting the X key or the little arrow that's above your uh, foreground and background colours. Now I could paint away in here, you get bored to see us watching me painting away uh, for hours. Uh, I think I've done enough painting on that for the moment. Uh, what I'm going to do is bin that, because I want to show you something else. Why not? Let's just hit the bin key and get rid of that. Um, I can do something else. I'm going to do a stamped copy layer. Shift 
Control Alt E, Shift Command Option E on the Macintosh, and that will stamp a copy of those two layers. And as I've chosen layer one, it'll sit it above those that uh, layer one. So there we go. I'm going to stamp copy. Uh, I'm going to choose the Move Tool key again. So you see the V, or just choose it there from the toolbar. And on the image, I'm going to just drag it across. As simple as that. And now I'm going to hit the dark and uh, blend mode and just move things around. How crazy is that? Well, I'm going to use the information that's actually on this layer. So I'm just going to leave it there. And I'm going to choose uh, Alt or Option on the mask, and that'll provide you with an inverted mask. And again, I can paint through. Let's just choose a white brush. We're still working at 30%, and I can paint in that area there. So I'm painting through the mask quite nicely. It doesn't match in really well at all, uh, but I'm just defining the area at the moment with the mask. Uh, if I click on that little chain in the middle there, that unlinks the image from the mask. If we just click on the image in the layer icon there and choose the Move tool, we can then start moving the image independently of the mask you've just created. Aha, you see? So you can just move that around in there. If we go Control T or Command T, we get this bounding box and then we can just rotate it. Simple as that, move it around with the, with the arrow inside the box. You can mouse down and move it around. Rotate it a bit more. So we've got more hair to play with. We've defined the area with the mask, but underneath we've got the whole image. We can drag it around. Not a selection, not a simple selection. We're going to transform that. Just hit the, hit the Enter key. And I'm going to choose the uh, selection tool again, the lasso selection tool, and just define that area again. Just drag around it. Uh, this time I'm going to hit Control T or Command T on the Mac. That'll bring up the bounding box. Inside I'm going to right click and go into warp. Warp, you can twist and bend and move things around all over the place. Mouse down and pull, drag. You can bend that hair that's underneath, the underlying, uh, that's coming through the mask. So you can shape the hair from there onwards. So that's Control T, Command T uh, on the selection itself. There, that's what it looks like. If I delete this, uh, so disable this uh, layer mask, you can see what's going on. So I just disable that. Load of nonsense under there, go thing of masks on top, and uh, let's just click on the mask again, and that'll uh, reinstate it. And that's been a couple of methods there of showing you how to increase or fill in the areas of a, a dodgy fringe. Okay, we'll continue with this image, uh, and, but for the moment, uh, thanks for calling by, uh, and until the next time, bye for now.